Hello guys, I hope you're well. Thank you for joining me today for this Twin Flame reading. Um, I'm going to be seeing what the Divine Masculine, what's going on with the Divine Masculine today, what we need to know about the Divine Masculines, and then I will be picking a card for um, the Divine Feminines at the end of the reading. I will be using my pots as well. So I'm going to be using George Blue Ice Tarot's deck and Liz Harrison's deck today from Guided by Angels. Um, so I'm going to start shuffling. I hope you guys are well, like I said, and you're coping you're trusting, you're believing, and you're understanding this journey because this journey is about yourself. This is a relationship with yourself. Um, so I really do hope that you're coping because I do know that it is very challenging and painful at times and you can feel very lonely. So I hope you're well, guys. Um, welcome to all the new subscribers. Thank you so much for joining me on my journey, joining my channel and supporting my channel. I'm so very grateful and thank you to all of you for leaving comments, taking the time out of your day to share your love with me um, and sharing about your journey so far and how you've been feeling as well. Thank you so much. I find it so comforting and it is my dream that's come true, you know, to be connected with people, like-minded people and people that are in the same and similar situation to me. So thank you guys for reaching out to me and making my dream happen youtube is a big part of my life this is how i met my divine masculine too so i have very strong passion towards youtube so thank you um if you are new and you haven't subscribed yet don't forget to subscribe if you feel connected to me like and share because it really helps my channel grow if any of you would like a clearer message for your twin flame journey because everybody's journey is unique um, and you'd like a private reading, just email me. It's in the description box down below. Um, and if you do want to feel more connected to me and you want to see my face and want to know a little bit about myself and my journey so far, um, there are videos that you can see that I've done. I've done a couple, but I do need to update them, guys, because obviously things change all the time. So, But it just tells you a little bit about me. Um, that's in the description box down below as well. So I think I've given these a good shot. So let's see what the divine, what's going on with the divine masculines today. Nice clear message, please. Oops. I'm going to pick two. No, actually, I'm going to pick three. <laughs> I'm going to be cheeky and pick three from George's deck. And then I'm going to use Liz's deck now. Um, if you haven't checked their channels out, go and check them out, guys. It's in the description box down below. They're amazing. They are in union. I expect all of you have checked their channels out already. <laughs> um, but they're amazing. They're very inspirational. And they give me strength every single day. So what else is it that we need to know about the Divine Masculine today? Nice clear message, please. I'm going to pick three from here as well. I'm going to pick three from here. Right, let's see. And at the bottom of the deck is our passion is real. Yes, this passion is real, guys. Let's see what we've got today. So, you are my sunlight from George's deck. I'm dreaming of you. We will be reunited. We will be reunited. I'm thinking about you. There's two messages about I'm thinking about you. I want to tell you how I feel and I will come forward in time. So let's start with you are my sunlight. Yeah, the divine muskins, you know, today they are thinking about you a lot and thinking about the times that you have spent together and you are the divine muskin sunlight. You are their light. You are the guiding light that's leading them back to who they truly are back home. Um, 
so your light is so powerful and it does scare the divine masculines at times because it's so intense and it is pushing them to face their fears and to make changes in their life um but you are they do know that you're their sunlight you are and uh, yesterday we, we had in the reading you're helping me more than you know and yes you are helping your divine masculine because you are having this relationship with yourself because you are focusing on yourself um you are being so brave and courageous on this journey and everything you do do for yourself you're doing for your divine masculine your twin so you are their sunlight and your light is leading them back home is guiding them back home to who they truly are and that is how they feel within when they are with you that is they feel so close to who they truly are and it's just very scary because they have they know that they've got to face certain things that have been affecting them for such a long time um and it is scary when you're having to make these changes and it is uncomfortable facing your fears as you know yourself i'm dreaming of you <laughs> So they're thinking about you and they're dreaming of you. So some of your divine masculines may be dreaming about you at night time or they could be, you know, even in the daytime, just dreaming of you, just fantasising about what it's going to be like to be with you, just remembering the times that you did have together. Just, um, we know the divine masculines are in their heart space. They are so full of this love and they're ready to explode in every way. So and they're feeling this desire so they're dreaming of you they just can't get you off their mind and they are having experiences through their dreams as well they're getting a lot of guidance and support while they're sleeping and when they're experiencing these dreams so um what else is it i will we will be reunited yes you are going to be reunited because you're one soul you're just not with the physical person right now because you're in preparation so you can get rid of the doubt, the fear, the toxicity that you were experiencing before when you were together. You're clearing all that out of the way so you can experience heaven and earth with your divine masculine. So you are going to be reunited and your divine masculine wants you to know that today and your divine masculine is thinking about that today, what it's going to be like when you are reunited, how things are going to be in the health different they're going to be and how much more smoother things will be because you have moved so much so much stuff that no longer serves you you because you're having a relationship with yourself you're not putting so much pressure on each other to make each other happy you know that that is your responsibility so you are going to have such a beautiful time you're going to experience this true pure unconditional love with your divine masculine it's happening guys so they want you to know that you are going to be reunited and they are processing everything and preparing to come back to you and again i'm thinking about you yeah so they just can't get you off their mind guys and we know that anyway don't we if we're true to ourselves and we're honest with ourselves when we're in our truth and we're in our knowing we know what's going on with the divine masculines because we know what's going on within us um and you could be thinking about your divine masculine a lot. I know that we're told that we mustn't think about the divine masculines. And, you know, I know this is about the relationship with yourself and you have to focus on yourself. But it is OK to think about your divine masculine. It's just about how you do think about them. Make sure you're, you are thinking about them with compassion, with love and excitement about how things are going to be. And just appreciate and be grateful for your divine masculine to come into your life. But if you're thinking about them and you're wondering what they're doing and um, being fearful, oh, are they going to do something? How are they going to do this? And, you know, trying to control, control the situation while you're thinking about them, that isn't no good because you're just sending the wrong energy because your divine masculine feels everything that goes on within you because you're one. So it just pushes them away when you have those experiences, when you're in that energy. So make sure you're thinking about them with compassion with love and gratitude that they did come into your life like i said i want to tell you how i feel yeah okay. of course they want to tell you how they feel this is what they're preparing to do they want to tell you how they feel they want to express this love with you because they're allowing themselves to feel it they've accepted this love and they've opened their heart to themselves and this is why they are wanting to tell you now and I will come forward in time. So if you are experiencing some doubt and fear today and wondering what is going on, <coughs> try and 
try and release that and tune into what you already know about this love and the truth. Be truthful to yourself and allow, allow the doubt and the fear to be removed, to dissolve. They are going coming forwards to you in time to tell you how they feel. They want to tell you how they feel now. They don't want to hide from you anymore. They want to express this love with you. So don't worry, they are going to tell you how they feel. Whatever you're seeing in the 3D, see beyond the illusions. Concentrate on what's going on within you and how you're feeling. Don't let anything distract, distract you, not your ego. Just be truthful to yourself and put love into every situation. So let's see what my energy pots say. What energy is the divine masculine in here? Honest, how amazing is that, guys? This is just so you cannot make this stuff up, can you? And today, I feel that today, I, I feel very emotional today. Very, the, my emotions are running high today, things are very intense, and I think that has to do with we experience that when we are, you know, we are, um, I think it is the full moon today, so. It's a full moon in Aquarius. So how amazing is that, that honest has come out? I want to tell you the tr how I feel. <laughs> yes. They want to be honest with you. And this is how they're feeling today. This is what they're thinking about. They're thinking about being honest with you, processing everything, how they're going to come towards you, how you're going to react. But they really do want to be honest because they're being honest with themselves now about this love. They're not lying to themselves anymore. They're not trying to run from this love because you're not running from this love in, in, anymore. And some of you might think, oh, well, that doesn't make any sense, though, because I haven't been running. But that isn't, you have been running from yourself because you have been living your life through the eyes of fear, not through the eyes of love. And every time you've been reaching out to your divine masculine, having contact with your divine masculine, it has been through, it has been when you've been in the energy of fear, when you've allowed fear to take over because... You were fearful of them rejecting you. You were fearful of this abandonment, um, that you got it wrong, that you're going crazy. Um, and that's all because you didn't feel worthy of this love. You wasn't trusting yourself. And this journey is about trusting your intuition, trusting what you already know. And you weren't doing any of those things. And all your divine masculine reflects back to you is all of your fears and things that are deep within you about, you know, rejection, abandonment, jealousy um all of those things so because you are being honest with yourself and you're being truthful the divine masculines are being honest with themselves about this love they haven't shared it with you but they do want to tell you how they feel now because of this honesty what else is going to come out for the divine masculine's energy today strength yes this come out as well mm. yesterday they're gaining strength to be honest with you guys. How amazing is that? They're gaining strength to be honest with you. And they're feeling this strength today. They are feeling this strength today. This is what's motivating them today to think about how they are going to come towards you. What they are going to say to you. Because they know the importance of this honesty that they need to share with you. The truth. So they are gaining strength and they're feeling this strength today because they're feeling the love. The love that they feel is giving them the strength and the courage. Let's see. What else is going to come from my pots? Right. What is the message Do my masculines want to say from my pots today? The mask is coming down, yes. How beautiful is this reading? I want to tell you how I feel. Honest strength and the mask is coming down. And the mask is coming down, guys, because your mask is coming down. The fear, you're removing the fear from your life. You're seeing things through the eyes of love. That is what your mask has been, is the fear. And it's exactly the same for the divine masculines. And they're saying that the mask is coming down. They are going to show you their authentic self. They are going to be showing you who they truly are and speaking their truth because of them bringing the mask down and they've taken the mask down 
to themselves now. They've been truthful to themselves. So that's amazing, isn't it? This is what action that they have been taking in the time that they maybe have been silent. If your divine masculine has been silent or there's um, some kind of challenge, your divine masculine has taken the mask out to themselves so they can feel this love. And now they're saying to you, the mask is coming down towards you. They're going to share this with you. They're going to have the strength to be honest with you, to tell you how they feel. Can you believe it, guys? Let's see what else comes out. You cannot make this stuff up. How beautiful is these readings? How they just flow. Hmm. It's just meant to be, isn't it, guys? I want to be intimate with you. Oh, my goodness. I had a feeling that this was going to come out today, this particular... Because I was thinking a lot about um, intimacy. Um, and the Divine Masculines are saying, I want to be intimate with you. So, you know, they, the mask is coming down. They want to share you, share with you who they truly are. They want to be honest. They want to be truthful. They want to tell you how they really feel. They want to share this love with you. They do want to be vulnerable with you. They want to share everything with you everything and intimacy covers so much and intimacy is something that I have it's very um something that I have to really I've had to work through intimacy and um it it's something that really frightens me to be intimate with my divine masculine um so intimacy is about sharing the whole of you sharing everything um and feeling comfortable with doing that, no, you know, having that trust that you can be intimate without having the fear take over. And um, for the divine masculines, it could be where they're really sh afraid of sharing their feelings, their emotions. Um, in my situation, it's about me actually, you know, to be intimate physically, you know, with. I have really intense problems with how I feel about my body and how I feel about myself. So most of my life I've always believed and felt that I have to be completely perfect. Everything on my body to be completely perfect. So it's something that I still have to work through now. It's something that bothers me. That I have to really have to try hard and really focus and be truthful to myself and to remove my ego and put love into the situation. Um, but I'm, you know, it's one, it's like, um, to me, it's like a phobia of somebody that is <laughs> frightened of spiders or something that really intense. Mine is a very weird and it's been with me for such a long time where, you know, I cannot, I don't want anybody to see my body, parts of my body, anyway. <laughs> so if you can identify that, guys, <laughs> um, I've just exposed myself and been very vulnerable there. If you feel that way, let me know in the comments down below. But just put this into your situation if you think you're divine masculine because, you know, where is the same as me or if it's to do with their expressing you know, just expressing themselves, being vulnerable about sharing how, you know, actually speaking about their feelings. Um, so, as I said, intimacy covers so many things. And being intimate is just like actually just being still and just looking into each other's eyes and not saying anything. Hmm. Being close with each other, holding hands sharing everything your feelings with each other for hours on end all of those things are intimacy it covers so much and obviously making love um so they want to share who they truly are with you they want to be honest and they're gaining the strength and they're feeling their strength today so let's see what the card's going to come out for the divine feminines today i'm going to be using the 
um, deck Oracle of the Fairies to see what you need to know to help you stay focused, to believe, to trust and to be in tune, know, in tune with your knowing of what you already know about this journey, about this relationship um, with your Divine Masculine. What is it today the Divine Feminines need to help support them and guide them? help them trust and believe in themselves and what they already know. Nice clear message please. These cards are very beautiful. Let's see what the Divine Feminines need to know today. Ask for help. Angels are celestial beings who protect everyone and the fairies say now is the time for you to ask the angelic assistance. So yes, if you're feeling, you know, like you're being bombarded with doubt and fear and you're just feeling uncomfortable, look, purity at the bottom of the deck. Yeah. Um, if you're just feeling like overwhelmed with, you know, and you feel the doubt and the fear is really taking over you at the moment, ask for help, ask for the support. If you're feeling like you have got too much going on and you're just feeling really run down and you're not managing to get everything done or whatever, you've just got to take a deep breath and spend some time in nature, meditate and take some time to actually ask for help. You're not meant to be doing, doing, doing. You're meant to be being. This is about just being and listening to yourself and not rushing around tearing about everything will get done and when you ask for help and when you actually believe and trust in higher power in god the universe whatever words you prefer to use you will be provided with guidance support and everything will be is always taken care of guys always whatever situation you're in um so ask for help ask for help ask Archangel Michael to help you with the doubt and fear to cut, use his sword to cut away the doubt and fear and to protect you from any doubt or fear. You may need support with your everyday life where you're overdoing it, you've got too much on your plate and you try to do everything yourself and now it's time to actually delegate, make the decision well actually I can't do all this so I do need some help, I need to make some decisions of how I can make things easier for me um because this journey is about yourself isn't it guys it's about putting yourself first and if you're rush rushing around tearing around you're not being aware you're not conscious you're you're just in your head all the time and you need to be really it's a very pivotal time for twin flames at the moment i feel there's a lot going on with the divine feminine and divine masculine and you're both merging and just so much is happening and so many twin flames are coming into union um, so it's really important that you take care of yourself and ask God for help, like I said, and delegate things, you know, ask for help. Don't think that you have to do everything yourself. You can ask other people for help, you know, to take the weight off of you. You can ask for support. Um, you're not meant to struggle. You're not meant to feel run down and life isn't for that. Just take a time to breathe and give yourself time to be able to ask for help and to, to be able to think who can help you. Who is there that you could ask for help that you know that's going to be, that is going to be helpful. It's not going to be helpful if you are somebody that you know that's going to actually cause you more problems. You know what I'm saying? It will be provided with you. The right person at the right time will be shown to you to help you, whatever it is that's that card means to you when it comes out it only you knows know that don't try and do everything yourself because that isn't taking care of yourself you're meant to be taking care of your energy and just being and being aware of how you're feeling being conscious of your thoughts allowing them to come in allowing them to go all of those things so don't be bombarded and don't allow the fear to take over because you want to live your life through the eyes of love now. It's time. So ask for help. 
if there's something that's on your mind, whatever that is, ask for help, ask God. Surrender to the situation and take some breaths. And it will be provided when you actually believe and you let go of trying to do everything yourself. So I really do hope that you enjoyed this reading. I loved doing it. It was lovely, wasn't it, with the Divine Masculine? So beautiful. So um, let me know what you thought of the reading and um, what about you know the intimacy of what I said. If you have trouble the same as me, you know, with being intimate, some of you might think that's really crazy because you're like, oh my goodness, I can't wait to be intimate with my divine masculine. <laughs> but there's something that's um, I've had to work through and still I'm working through. So um, if you haven't subscribed already, don't forget to subscribe, like and share because it really helps my channel grow. And as, as I said, guys, if you'd like a clearer message for your unique twin flame journey, um, just just send me an email and I can book you in for a private reading. So as you know, guys, I always think about you and I'm so very grateful for each one of you. And I'm sending my love, my support, my strength and light you all. And I love you all so very much. See ya. Oh, that's your soul saying, oh.